first off, it's my opinion as a physician and an exercise dude that cardio doesn't even really exist. There's no significant adaptations in your heart or blood vessels as a result of exercise. The adaptations you see are an autonomic adjustment of your cardiovascular system because of changes that have occurred at the cellular level within the muscle. So that's the first thing. Second thing is, is everyone has created a link in their brain between aerobic steady state exercise and cardiovascular exercise. And that is because the whole aerobics exercise movement and exercise physiology being based on the only thing they can measure, which was oxygen uptake, being linked together. And aerobic metabolism occurs in the cell, in the totality of the cell. Maybe I can find the page in the book here that shows that in a particular organelle inside the cell called a mitochondria. Okay, so if this whole page represented a cell of your body, aerobic metabolism occurs inside this little gizmo here, which is the mitochondria. But that is just one small sub-segment of metabolism. Metabolism starts up here when glucose in the muscle cell gets metabolized down to a chemical called pyruvate. That's a 20-step process. And that's anaerobic, without oxygen metabolism. That pyruvate then gets shuttled into the mitochondria, and it gets metabolized, and that's aerobic metabolism. The real key is, if you really want to get the most you can out of aerobic metabolism, you've got to really crank the aerobic side of things, because this cycle can deliver pyruvate to the mitochondria much more quickly than the mitochondria can handle pyruvate. What happens then? That pyruvate stacks up, gets acted on by an enzyme called lactate dehydrogenase and turns it into lactic acid. That's your lactic acid burn. But only by delivering pyruvate as fast as possible, faster than the mitochondria can handle it, can you really maximally stimulate aerobic improvements. And then the more steady state thing that you traditionally associate with walking on a treadmill for 45 minutes, well after you get done with my workout and you're resting, all that lactate gets shuttled back to pyruvate and sent through the mitochondria. You get your treadmill walking on the drive home or off to lunch or back to work. But it's done by really driving this process. But the thing I want to really drive home is that aerobics or aerobic metabolism is a subsegment of metabolism, and there is no way that just this little organelle inside the cell is attached to the heart and blood vessels. This does not e equal cardio. The heart and blood vessels service the entire cell, the totality of metabolism. So if you really want a good cardiovascular effect, you've got to do something that attacks and ramps up the totality of metabolism. And a very high intensity form of training will do that and will produce a superior aerobic adaptation. There was a study done in McMaster's University in um, Canada that looked at improvements in oxygen uptake in a group of people doing steady state aerobic activity versus someone that did sprint training that were 30 second bursts with a three minute rest between bouts done a few times a week. And what they found was the improvement in aerobic capacity or oxygen uptake was greater in the sprint group than the steady state group. And we use that same concept wrapped into how we approach people's notion of cardio. But I think at the very base, I like to think of what most people think of as cardiovascular improvement is really global metabolic conditioning. And the cardio is just really the body's, the cardiovascular symptoms, autonomic response to those improvements. Make sense? Is that yeah. the hardest thing to... Oh, yeah. To because that, on? that's, Even you know, if you think dogs. about, you know, your backyard and having a dog and a dog, you know, it beats a dog trail in the backyard, that is just deeply ingrained in the lexicon of the public's notion of exercise, is that whole cardio aerobics link. 
to the extent that no one even calls it aerobics anymore. It's just de facto cardio. You have a cardio theater or a cardio room, and everyone just automatically makes the assumption that the two are the same. And first, it doesn't even exist, and second, the two are not really directly linked in any way.